Soil acidity has become a serious threat to crop production in most highlands of Ethiopia in general and in the western part of the country in particular. According to data gained from Ministry of Agriculture, 3.7 hectares of arable lands of Ethiopia are affected by soil acidity. Understanding this, the government is working with development partners like German Development Cooperation and others to solve the problem. Dr. Stefan Schulz is manager of German Development Cooperation. He says they used to convince farmers to use lime in order to decrease soil acidity and now the farmers are willing to do so. We have been testing and demonstrating the impact of lime plus organic fertilizer, inorganic fertilizer and improved seed on crop yields to convince farmers to create demand for lime among the farming community. That has been incredibly successful. Farmers are convinced, are ready to buy lime and now the challenge is, or the, the next logical step is to set a supply chain for lime, a sustainable supply chain for lime, of lime, to farming communities. Dr. Stefan stressed that using lime with other fertilizers, especially with natural fertilizer, is very important to increase product and the productivity of farmers. And many people see it as a challenge. Um, I basically see it as an opportunity. There are 3.5 million hectares of acid soils in Ethiopia with the application of lime and integrated soil fertility management practices yields can be increased by about 1.5 tons per hectare times 3.5 million means 5 million tons of additional grain could be produced in ethiopia so that is the opportunity i see and and that opportunity basically we from giz and specifically from the soil fertility project have been pursuing jointly and under the leadership of the Ministry of Agriculture. Sarah Safa is coordinator of AgroPro Focus to Ethiopia. She noted that soil acidity is caused by natural and man-made disasters, adding it is very crucial to treat soil using different methods. Over time, especially in areas, highland areas, where we have a lot of rainfall, we, we have some of the good nutrients leaching out of the soil. So the, it's very important that we add enough organic carbon to the soil, usually we don't put compost back in our soil. That's very important for neutralizing and maintaining the, the pH of the soil. Also, where you see a lot of soil erosion and a lot of rainfall, then the cations are, are lost. So the balance of the pH is lost. So it's very important that we do uh, physical conservation of soil, so to, to prevent erosion, as well as every year we take out crops from the soil. The soil gives and gives, but we have to give back to the soil so that it can continue to give to us. We need to give inputs, like uh, organic compost is very important. Sarah stated that they have been working together with the Oromia Agriculture and Natural Resource Bureau to demonstrate farmers so as to make them use lime. Together with the Oromia Bureau of Agriculture, we have helped farmers around uh, Jeldu to access lime for demonstration, to see, does lime really help us treat our acid soils? And yes, we found that it makes a big difference. If you compare the lime uh, treatments with the no treatments, there's, there's a big difference in productivity. So we see that around Jeldu, we saw that last year. And this year, we've been working with the Federal Ministry of Agriculture, because Atotofara and the Soil Improvement uh, uh, Fertility, the Soil Fertility Improvement Directorate, is really committed to developing a new lime supply system. State Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Mandafro Nugusi, for his part, underscored that working with development partners is critical to overcome the challenge. I'm